Hey everybody, um, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have a little bit of a play. Um, I came across these Caran d'Ache Swiss Colour Aquarelles at Officeworks, which is our local um, like office supplies and art supply store here in uh, Townsville, Queensland. So um, I'm in Australia for you guys that don't know, and one of our supply stores um, that we have locally is Officeworks. Um, yeah, so anyway... I think they were about $18 from memory for the 15 and I wanted to see how well they worked in comparison to the Neo Color 2s as a cheap, I guess, alternative um, resource if you can't afford the Neo Color 2s. So the Swiss Color Aquarelle are obviously water soluble and I wanted to see how they worked in comparison with them. So we're going to have a little bit of a play. So I've got my little testing notebook here, which is where I... Um, like, like plan out my pages and test colors and all sorts so it's just a, a normal notebook <laughs> nothing flash all right so it says on the back that they are water soluble wax pastels for dry or wet application 15 bright and intense colors rich in pigments economical in use and can be applied on most materials and surfaces so they sound very much like the near color twos so yeah let's have a go what i've done is i've pulled out the tray so this is what they look like they are um without labels so the neocolor twos obviously have labels whereas these don't have labels on them um, and they are a smaller size in comparison to the length so for example this is the length of a neocolor two and the length of one of these pastels in comparison to the width though they are the same width but yeah definitely i would say half the size of a neo color too all right so what we're going to do is i've pulled out all of the colors in this pan set and pulled out the matching colors in the neo color twos so if you have a look i'll hold a couple at a time so you can have a look at the colors in comparison they're actually like dead on ring ringers for them like they're literally matches for the colors which is really really cool I'll grab these ones you can have a look at these ones Oop. so they look exactly the same so i'm really interested to see how close they actually are where are we here we go when we put them on paper and if they actually work in the same way as the near color trees yeah the colors look like so close okay so what i've got going to do is swatch out i've got the near color two on the top here and then the swiss color aquarelle down the bottom so i'll do a square of each and we can sort of compare them um, in the color that they produce as well as um, i guess how they feel and then i'm going to try them on a little part of a background in one of johanna bassford's books so Let's have a play. I've got my water here. Let's do the yellow first. So let's do the Neo Color 2. So I'm just going to draw like a bit of a square. Like I said, this is not a flash book or anything like that. It's just a book where I swatch things in. Okay, so that's the yellow dry for the Neo Color 2. Now we'll do the. Okay, so straight away they're definitely chalkier. Um, not, not too bad, but they're laying down, it's laying down pretty well. Not too bad. Okay. Then we'll do, we'll lay them all down dry first and then we'll come through and wet them once we've got them all down. All right. So this is orange. We'll go Swiss color. You can see when I'm laying it down, they're not as smooth, I would say. But in saying that, it feels like there's a bit of a wax coating on the outside. So if you sharpen them, it would probably feel a little bit different. Right now we're going to go Scarlet. So I've just matched the 12 colors that are in this palette. So I'm only going to do the 12. That should give us a pretty good idea anyway. They lay down really, really well. Like I would say 
in comparison, if you didn't have the money to buy the Neo 2s, these are a perfect substitute until you could afford a set. Again, they are about half size though. Okay. So, sorry, that one was Carmine or Carmine, whatever you want to call it. The colors are exactly the same, like exactly the same. I can't see the difference between them, to be honest. Right, this one is violet. Violet. Like, I can't believe how good these are laying down. They honestly feel like it's the same crayon. Okay, this one is ultramarine. Like, not even... If I didn't have the labels on them and they were the same size, I wouldn't be able to tell. They're really nice. They feel exactly the same. All right, now we've got light blue. Light blue. So yeah, the Neo Color 2 are quite expensive to buy. So I thought if we could find a comparable option for people to use, that would be awesome. And then I found these in the kids' art aisle. So these weren't even in the adults' art aisle. These were in the kids' art aisle. I thought, oh, yeah. okay, for $18, let's have a go. The colors are exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. Beautiful. All right. Sorry, that one was yellow green. This one is emerald green. Emerald, let's go emerald down here. Very impressed. Okay, these ones are ochre. They lay down just as nicely. Um, this one is not sharpened, whereas these ones are sharpened, so that's making a little bit of difference. But apart from that, they're beautiful. Okay, so this one is brown. matching really really nicely I might do black last this one is gray and then the last one well not last one last color I guess is cobalt blue Oops, oh my goodness. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. That one. You silly head. <laughs> I literally coloured in both of the greys. Oh, it's been a long day. Alright, let's go black. And the black and the Neo 2. And I forgot the turquoise. And I'll lay the white down, but there's probably not much point because you're not going to see it anyway. But 
white and then we'll add the water we'll see how that goes okay so so far they feel exactly the same exactly the same like I said if they didn't have labels on them on any of them I wouldn't be able to tell so let's put a cross through that because we're not going to use that one okay so now I'm going to add some water to them where is I'm just going to give it a brush any excess off so they don't mix all right so let's add the water and see how they compare so I've just got a little bit of water on a brush okay let's go yellow first so this is the near color too right let's go this Swiss color beautifully activated exact feels exactly the same All right orange literally the same beautiful and I'll give it a test in a minute to see how well they can pull the colors out okay that red oh it, it, they're, they're literally the same crayon I'm convinced excuse my goose out there cruising on past lifts beautifully can move it around all right violet off you go goosey there you go purple blue and obviously this is a watercolor paper so you know you're not going to get the best results this is just my test book so i'm not too phased with it um does what I want so <laughs> literally exactly the same like I cannot even tell they're different I am shook The colors are definitely the same. And for the price, I'm like 18 bucks. It's really good. Especially if you only want a couple to test out rather than buying the bigger set, you can actually buy this little set and have a go on it. Why not? And with the colors that you've got, you can actually mix them as well and make them, you know, um, some other colors as well that you might like, especially because you've got the white, like you can mix it with, say, this teal and you can get a beautiful light teal. So you can start to blend it out with your blacks and your whites. You can start to change them as well. And last one is the white. honestly <laughs> I'm positive that they're the exact same crayon except for the fact that they are half size they have no labels and they're in a cheaper packet apart from that oh they're exactly the same I'm convinced okay so let's have a look now at how they kind of pull out the color just to see the difference so I might use the teal we'll come over here and then I'm going to go dark to light and we'll pull that out and then we'll go the teal in the Swiss color dark to light and we'll also see how they pull out just by themselves. So that's the Swiss color and the near color. Okay, so if we go let's go the light to the dark first so this is your neo color 2 beautiful 
and this is the Swiss color. Guys, they are honestly the exact same. Like, <laughs> oh, I can't even. All right, the Neo 2s, let's see. Let's pull it out. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. All right, let's pull out the Swiss color. Activate. My brush wasn't as wet, which doesn't help. Well, bodged that one because my brush wasn't wet. <laughs> Let's try um, that one again. Let's see if I can get more out of it this time. Okay, pull, 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 pull. Honestly, these are beautiful. I'm really shocked that they are on Paris a comparison to it. So guys, if you're looking for something in comparison to your new color twos, if you can't afford it, these are exactly the freaking same. <laughs> Get them. Honestly, if you can't afford it, you've got tw what 15 colors there that you can mix and blend until you can afford the full set. Yes, they're half size. They're in a cheaper packet but they are literally the exact same thing. I'm convinced. Um, so what I'll do now is just do a quick little background in one of Johanna Basford's books. And it's a page I did um, some testing on the other day. So I'm just gonna pull that page again. And we'll just do a little play on here. So, I thought I'll just color in this little bit around here because I've already got the line on there to split the two sides. So this side I'll do the Swiss color and this side I'll do the near color too. So we might do purple, teal, and some light blue. Mix those. So we'll go in with our purple first. Let's do some little bits random. Basically, just to see how they go on some actual coloring paper. Right, nothing fancy, just how I've been doing my other pages. Just adding in bits here, bits there. So I'm just laying it down. And the light. Okay, then I'm going to do the same colors on the other side with the Swiss colors. So we had purple, teal, and some light blue. Okay. So we'll go in with our purple. So same thing, just laying it down. Okay, two. So I didn't want to do anything that took too long, so I thought this was just a good little test. All right, then we're going with our light blue. So now I'm going to put the water on. So let's have a look. I'll zoom you guys in. Let's see, zoom in. There we go. Right, so I've got the Swiss color and we've got Neo 2s. I actually think I laid those down a bit harder. So that might make a bit difference, but that's right. Let's start with the Neo color 2s. So I come in and I kind of just bop it and blend it and 
start getting that water to work on those colors. And I kind of just dab it on and the colors kind of start smushing. It gives it like that little bit of a um, speckled kind of look. I'm not too worried about staying in the lines. This is just my test book anyway. This is just somewhere where I can play with colors and test them on different paper and all that good stuff. So, right. There's your Neo 2, wet, it's obviously not dry, but I'm gonna come in now on the Swiss color, do the same thing. Start adding that water, dabbing it out. much water on that bit. So just give it a dab. I'm amazed guys, like honestly, these from where I'm sitting, <laughs> the colour like it looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same. Right, there we go. That's our two colors. So this side we got Swiss. Uh, what are we spelling it? Swiss color. And this side we got the Neo 2. So in comparison, they are exactly the same. Like I cannot tell the difference between these crayons. I believe that they're exactly the same. Like I said, they're just cheaply produced. So they're the half the size. They've got no labels, cheap packaging um, in comparison to Neo Color 2s with the size plus the wrapping, you know, the names, all of that kind of thing, um, as well as the beautiful tin that they come in with the Neo Color 2s. I'm just gonna zoom you back out. So I think, yeah, that they're exactly the same. So if you can't afford the Neo Color 2s, these are the perfect option for you. Um, like I said, they come with 15 colors. Um, you know, with your primaries and stuff, you can mix anyway to get your secondaries. You've got your white, you've got your black that you can mix in as well, um, which are gonna give you the different colors as well. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome option, guys. I hope that helps a couple of you, or some of you at least, um, and gives you an option for your coloring that you can use um, that's a bit cheaper than than the Neo Color 2s. Anyway, guys, um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye.